Hello everybody and welcome back to this channel of mine. Uh, so the thing we have today is this 30mm brass padlock for stock clock Sunday if you want to call it that. Uh, it just doesn't say much on the packaging, it just says like Solvex. Ideas at hand. And we can see this is hardened steel, it doesn't say what is hardened steel, but I presume they mean the shackle. And we can see I tried to try to get a decent bitting there. Little five pinner. So we're trying to give it the best chance we can. And then it says on the back there. It's got French, it's got uh, Spanish and German. I think it just says 30 millimeter padlock, but not sure. There's your product code and stuff. Mm, not much else. So lock itself only cost five pound five pounds or euros or whatever your currency you use, dollars. So we don't need to expect too much, but let us get the knife and stab the stupid packaging and hopefully not cut ourselves. So, big old knife there, slice. This is probably the hardest part, or maybe, I hope, hopefully. Though I doubt it, I will be surprised if I'm wrong, but it would be nice if there was something else in about this that was uh, difficult. And I love to... I really love using this crappy... freaking... I can't... Like like using these stupid blister packs, and I hate blister packs. Get out of there. Get out of there, you cheeky thing, you. There. Okay, so we don't need that junk anymore. Get out. Piece of shit. So, put the old hunting knife away. Yeah, we've managed to catch a padlock in the wild and hunted it down with our knife here, so now we just have to see what it's made of, I suppose. So, get the old rapid entry set of picks and blah blah blah. And I managed to add, well I managed to fit one of these in here as well. The uh, Sparrows padlock bypass driver that also doubles as a thumb turn bypass tool. Uh, yeah. So here's our keys. Not a bad bitting. Our keyway. Let's give you a little look at that. And once again, you can see it's a fairly Standard looking keyway there. If I hold that there for a moment too, we will bring up a possible cousin of this one. And we can see similarities there. This one here is a tricircle. As you can see they use the same keyway, although the one on the left is a little bit taller. So yeah, I'm sure if you had a bump key for the one, you could possibly use it on the other. Okay, so there it is. Have a look at that. Solex, or Solvex, I mean, ideas at hand. And on the other side, it's got, it got a better, looks better on the other side. Solvex, ideas at hand, right. And there's a shackle that they say is hardened, but the question is, is it hardened? So let's get a file and 
test it out. See if they are talking nonsense. Which I think they are. So, let's see. Hang on. It's probably better that we try and file a bit lower down so you don't see it when the padlock is closed. Let's first see if it actually works straight out of the packet. So, zoom out of it. Uh, take the key off. These keys look like those tricycle keys. The same pattern on them. So, probably made in China. In the same factory that most of them are. So if we can get these keys off there. Let's see, key in all the way and it works. It appears to be double locking. And if this is anything like the tri circle, it will be susceptible to bypassing. Let's make sure it doesn't open with the key not in. It's good. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, it seems to work fine. Okay. So I'll open this shackle and we shall just file the end of this. Let's see. Five dollars or euros or whatever. I don't expect it to actually be hardened. So let's have a look at damage. You can see, you could see there, if we just get it to focus, it is indeed cutting into the shackle. See a little groove there, so it is, it's not hardened. I didn't expect it to be, but just to call them out on that. So, they're talking nonsense. So, it's locked up. Now, let's do it the hard way first. Actually, no. Let's do it the way we would if we wanted to try and get in fast. Let's zoom out so we can see anyway. So, first thing to try, since it's a padlock like this, is is it actually double locking? I doubt it, so let's try the knife tool first and foremost. Put it in. Okay. Hmm. Maybe... I think it's double locking. Not getting much much luck here. It does seem like it won't. I can definitely feel I'm pulling on one end and the other one I can't seem to grab him. I think I might get it eventually but I'm not very experienced with that. So the main thing is it won't really bypass because it does lock on both sides like that. So that's something. Comb picks. Try the next thing. So that seems about right. So that didn't work. Let's put the comb pick in here. Don't think this will work. Maybe it will. But, but the bitting is extreme, so this might defeat this attack. So bear with me here. Have to try get the comb aligned. Mm, not 
quite. It does seem to be resisting. So I'll try again. Hang on. Hold it in a way that I can see more easily. I might try the other end. Yeah, it's definitely somewhat working, but I can't get all the pins up. Could be that I'm using the wrong end. Not quite. So maybe if the bitting was different, it would work, but because the bitting is good, I reckon it's defeating the comb, so that's a good thing. So far, so good. It's defeated our bypass tools here. And I don't think I should use this to be honest, but it could fit this here maybe. Right, let's get a let's get onto the rocking attack or method of entry. Or oh, actually we've still got one more bypass to try that actually. It's the shimming. Can't forget to shim. So this should definitely dismiss whether it's double locking or not. So I put the little plastic handles on there to make it more comfy. Now what I could do is I could shim the one side if I wanted and then try and bypass the other. But uh, yeah, I'll have to put it in that way. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we managed to get it to open. So let's lock that up again and make sure that we didn't just somehow get lucky, because that should be... Yep. Okay, so it's locked on one side, so get the knife and I'll semi-shim it, I suppose. Call this semi-shimming. So we managed to move one out the way. And there, there's the other one out the way. So, a little combined effort there to bypass it, so can bypass it if we use shims or just a combination of shims and bypass knife. But you need to know about that. To know about that exploits. Uh, this is not a high security lock, so it's what you should expect if you're knowledgeable on these locks. Now what I need to do is a tension tool. Okay, so lock them up. And the first pick I shall use, or at least try and use, is the city rake and the rocking attack. First, we'll do the try to stick the pick in and then rock gently. Try and spoof this thing into opening. But I'm not convinced this will work because we have a lo really low cut pin. Okay, it's not really working. Let's try the other way. So first we push all the pins up to the top, then put the tool in, and then rock. Rock. But near luck. So with the Sydney Lake it's not gonna rock, so let's try the final test with the rocking. Let's just use the 
hook, pick and then rock. And doesn't seem to cooperate. So maybe I should use a thicker side. Nope, I think it's the bitting that's making us fail, so let's let's try to zip, zip it. So I want to make sure the tensioner is good. I think it is. I might just try a medium thickness one instead of the thinnest one. Chinese Chinese one. Okay, so it's locked there. The core can't be shimmed, just so you know. Core is feeling really really stiff. Let's make sure it still works of course. Yeah it still works, it's just the... I think I might need heavy tension on this because of that core. So something like that and then again with the bitting this might make us not Get an open. Nope. So can't seem to rock it. We want the rake. Let's get our rakes. Let's go straight to the bogey. The bogey tar. A little bit of movement there. There we go. So the bogey tile will get us in. So that means we have no security bins. And therefore, we should now try to SPP this thing. So we just want to try and attention it from the top. And obviously, make sure it's locked again. So this one here, we might have to take a might have to get a I might just get a top of the keyway tensioner instead just because for me it will be more convenient to use. So retention it over there and not have to worry about the core busy seizing up for some reason because of a tension wrench. One definitely does feel a bit like it likes heavier tension. Two, one, two, three. Hmm. Or is binding. We can just pick seems to slip a little bit off that warding. There we go. It's just the angle I was at, I think. So we would have gotten in fairly quickly with just the bypass. And 
with a rake. But that was not the most I that wasn't all the ways. I'm sure we can get this to open with a hook. Let's just reset this. Probably dealing with crunchiness from machining. Okay, so once I've overcome that springiness, hold that there. Pin four feels like it's binding. One is loose, two is loose, three, little bit of a click. Five, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. So one is loose, two is loose, three clicked. One, two clicked a little. Make sure nothing's ever set there. Test them. I think it's on the high cut at the back or something. We do have a little bit of a good bitting, so nothing the rake couldn't handle though. The bow guitar. Okay, so something happened there. Come on, you little faker. I pick it with the other hand. Like when you try and turn that core feels really like like it's grinding against the inside of there. Like the machining's really rough. This is weird picking with this hand. I get the first pin, second, first pin dropped down. There we go. So I managed to pick with the opposite hand for some reason and not the other one. But there we go. Opening of the Solex padlock for stock lock Sunday. Can be bypassed, it's not really hardened. Um has no security pins. It is definitely not high security. It can't be combed open this one with because of the bitting. The cork cannot be shimmed. The key works out of the packet which is good. It is double locking but I can't say much else. Try to list the pros and cons there. Um, yeah that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I will see you again when I have the opportunity to pick on camera and so on. See ya.